in this module we will continue our discussion of mendelian experiments we have talked about the separation of two traits let's look at the physical nature of it we have also studied meiosis the process in which gametes are formed so here on your screen you can see both representations the punnett square and also the meiosis so in meiosis you know that we have two chromosomes two homologous chromosomes which have not identical but similar genetic information so in our heterozygous plant we had two chromosomes one containing the capital s gene the other containing the small s gene capital s the smooth seed is dominant over the recessive wrinkled seed trait when this plant capital s small s is going to make its gamete we will have the meiosis we know the chromosomes will replicate they will duplicate we also know the tetrads will form in meiosis 1 and the two homologous pair two homologous chromosomes will separate they will separate and in meiosis 2 the chromatids the sister chromatids will also separate resulting in production of haploid gametes gametes have half the number of chromosomes as compared to their parent so this is what how we understand it today but mendel did not have this information available when he was doing his experiments he was solely relying on the mathematical model and also the statistics he had accumulated so mendel's interpretation of this data was law of segregation when any individual produces gametes the two alleles allele we have already defined two alleles separate so each gamete receives only one member of the pair of the alleles here on the screen you can see that mendel did not restrict himself to just the seed shape he did similar experiments with other traits other characters of the plant but he always got the same result when he crossed f1 generation the f2 generation had the same ratio the ratio was 3 is to 1 3 from the dominant whether it was the seed shape seed color flower color the the shape of the pod the color of the pod whether the, it was the position of the flower axil or terminal flowers or the size of the plant so mendel did not draw his conclusions just from one experiment as you can see he did thousands of these breeding experiments over the over several several years and then he came up with his law of segregation so in order to 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 prove that the f1 generation had a recessive gene small s gene mendel performed a test cross test cross is performed to ascertain the genotype of an unknown individual in this case our individual is a plant with round seed we know that this plant could be heterozygous or homozygous meaning it can have two capital s genes or one capital s and small s gene so how would we know that this what is actual genotype of this plant in order to do, in order to determine that we do the test cross test cross is between an individual of unknown genotype with the recessive homozygous recessive of the same trait so we have two uh, we can split it into two we can do two experiments so if we cross this s question mark with ss if the question mark is a capital s then the result of the cross cross this cross will produce all spherical seeds none of them will be wrinkled because it has only the one of the parents only has capital s it cannot contribute small s to the progeny so all the progeny will have spherical seed on the other hand if the unknown genotype was capital s small s half of the gametes of that particular plant will have capital s the other half gametes will have small s when we do this cross as seen in the the punnett square you can see 50% half of the the progeny will have wrinkled seed 
and the other half will have the spherical seed. We will continue our discussion of Mendelian genetics in the next module.